Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how you can model a dormer in Revit and how you can model all the essential construction elements for that dormer. So here I have just a roof and as you can see I have construction for this roof and if you want to see how I've done this there is a video in the a video link in the description for a tutorial on that as well as other tutorials on roofs that I have created. So first thing we we're going to do is we're going to select this roof, going to override graphics in view, go by element, and lower the surface transparency by let's say 30. Uh, go apply. Okay. Now it's just a bit easier to navigate. Okay, now we're going to go to south elevation. So here we have two levels and I'm just going to create a new one so I'm just going to select it and go create similar and I'm just going to create a new level over here and I'm going to set the height at 2 meters. Uh, this will be basically the height of our dormer. So I'm just going to go back to level 2 and I'm going to go into architecture, wall and just cancel out of that, take this generic 300 and I'm going to attach it to level 3 OK and now I'm just going to draw it over here just go basically to the wall line that this is basically the lower wall pull it out to maybe here and create a new one here Okay, this is maybe too far inward, so I'm just going to pull it a bit down and then I'm just going to align it with this one over here. Okay, now we have our wall and when we go into 3D it looks something like this. Maybe it's too wide, maybe we can make it smaller. Let's just select it, go back into level 2. Just pull it in to this point or align it. To the center level like so. Same thing here. Okay looks a bit better and now let's create a roof for it. So in order to do that we're just going to set the work plane to level 3. Okay then we're going to go into roofs, roof by footprint and I'm just going to use the rectangular command and offset I'm going to use 0.6 meters and I'm just going to select this endpoint over here and this endpoint over here and now we have our roof footprint and just select this line and uncheck define slope and when we check it it looks something like this okay now I can see that this this wall over here is going too far inward so I'm just going to pull it outside a bit like so now it's maybe too much inside just a tad more in inward okay that looks a lot better so I'm just going to align this with this okay and now let's attach our new roof or basically dormer to our main roof so I'm just going to select the new roof go here into join unjoin roofs select the edge of the roof you want to attach and now you select the face of the roof you want to attach it to so this is basically this face over here and you can see now we have our dormer modeled the way we want it so now we need to make basically a hole inside of this existing wall and in order to do that we're just going to go to architecture, dormer, opening and you basically select what roof you're going to cut in it will be this roof, pick edges ok, I've picked these two first, then these walls sometimes you can't select the wall, ok and the front one as well okay and now just trim it so go trim and extend okay now it's trimmed go okay 
and you can see when I select this roof we have this opening inside okay the next step will be to create the construction for this roof so I'm just going to select the new roof go right click override graphics in view by element and just go to surface transparency and put it to 30 as well go apply OK and now I can see our walls a bit better so first I'm going to create basically this construction part over here so this is basically the beam that goes along the top of this wall so I'm just going to go beam and here for Z justification before you draw it you need to set it to bottom I'll show you later why and you go pick lines so I'm going to pick this line this line and this line and as you can see we have our beams and now if I select one of them and if I change this Z justification to top you can see it basically sinks in the wall so we don't want that we want the line that we drew to be the bottom part of this beam okay now we have that element now we can create the all the other elements but first I'm just going to go to level 2 and go into this section over here and now we can see our roof is a bit higher than we would want it to be so I'm just going to go base offset I'm going to go minus 0.2 that's maybe a bit too much maybe minus 0.16 okay that looks fine go back to 3d okay let's finish the construction parts so go into beam system set a plane pick a plane okay and now let's pick this one over here and then we're going to go pick lines select this one this one this one as you can see I'm selecting the bottom ones and this one here okay I may have missed this one okay let's go pick lines this one okay and for the beam direction just draw it over here and make sure that it's perpendicular to this line that's actually here okay and there we go we have one side finished now we'll just select this basically beam system over here and we're going to mirror it just go into site plan and pick this line over here now when we go back to 3d you can see we have now this beam system on both sides and just do the front one at the end so I'm just going to go to architecture structure beam system set work plane go pick a plane okay pick this one so the bottom one and then you just go with pick lines here here and the last one here okay and for the beam direction you just pick this thing and make sure it's perpendicular and go okay okay now we have beams on all sides let's just add a window for the end just go window well, let's pick this one maybe we can fit two of them or maybe even three let's try let's go to south elevation and let's align them okay looks okay and now let's select these two and go right click and override graphics and view by element and bring the transparency back to zero go apply okay and now if we go into maybe realistic we have a dormer in Revit with construction if we look underneath we have all the construction elements and this means you can create 
interesting exploded 3D views like maybe we select this thing or first the dormer roof we go into displace elements bring it up a bit do the same thing for this roof displace elements bring it up and then if we select it we can add some paths maybe like so here 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 maybe okay well that's pretty much it on how to create dormers in Revit with all the necessary construction elements thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any ideas for further tutorials please leave a comment in the comment section below and as always have a nice day